Oh, if this is before Christmas, Merry Christmas to you all. If I'm putting on after Christmas, well, I hope you had a good Christmas and New Year. Ah, the Devonshire countryside. You can see poison ivy and freak just behind the hedge. And this is where we'll be staying over Christmas. We are in Devon again, staying with our friends for the Christmas period. As you might be able to see around me, very misty. Got the dogs, got two, uh, two puppies, two of what were nine puppies. Yeah, those have got new homes. So these two are very lively. And I'm just going for a walk because I'm a fat lazy bastard, I put on a lot of weight. So I figure, you know, exercise would be good. So Christmas, we are spending Christmas with our friends Aidy and Jen and their family, which is very kind of them to invite us. They don't have a couple of, a couple of other invites to be fair, but this one's the best for us as we can put the van and the car out of the way and not have to worry about them. And also, we like the Devonshire countryside. It's nice to be in it. So, what's our situation right now? We are still in England, obviously. So, our chances of going anywhere are looking increasingly unlikely, which is utter bollocks, frankly. Um, as you can see, I'm wrapped up against the cold because I'm not good at cold anymore. Also not good at exercise, as you can hear, by my wonderful breathing, I'm sure. So, the wife and I are enjoying being with friends, good food, good conversation. Good focus. So, when I was wa uh, walking around Malaysia, or Johor, I used to always complain because so many of the areas you'd like to walk are owned by people that don't want to live on their land. You've probably seen I tried filming by the side of a lake. It's owned by a building company. They wouldn't let me film there, sent the police down to move me on. Um, it's the thing I really hate about Malaysia is Everything is owned by someone. It doesn't matter how remote or, you know, uh, wild it is. It's like the, the palm plantations. You can't just go for a walk through the palm plantations. You know, there's just signs everywhere telling you not to go and do these things. That's what I love about the English countryside. Not all, obviously. There are some parts that the farmers don't want you on. It might damage their crops or scare their animals. There's obviously lots of bits that are reserved for shoots, so you don't want to be on land where people are shooting. Um, but a huge swathes of England paths and where you, anyone can walk. This land is owned by people, but it's basically common land so we can all walk on it. We don't, as you'll see, I'm walking through a farmer's field, but there's a pathway, you know, you don't go marching off across the field, obviously, that would be dickish. Um, so you just go for a walk. I'm taking these doggos for a little walk because they're working dogs, these. But these are gun dogs more, so their job will be on the shoots to run off and pick up the birds that have been shot and bring them back. Um, beautiful English Springer Spaniels, I believe. I don't know. Don't know much about dogs, I'm a cat person. Since I've come to England, my views have dropped through the floor. Now I'm lucky to get even 100 views a video. But as I read somewhere, you don't fail until you give up. So I haven't given up yet, therefore, I guess I haven't failed. Is that the fact? Is that the thing? Yeah, I'm waffling. So my vlog since coming back from Malaysia seems to be much less successful. Um, but then again, you see, it's always been a bit of a struggle. 
you know, I'm not good at vlogging. I'm not good looking. I don't have a great, I'm not great with a camera, not great with editing. You know, I'm always thankful of the few people that I do get. People like the other me uh, from Las Vegas, who's always supported me. Uh, people like Moonshine Lemongrass, who was kind enough to let me do a video with him, which uh, definitely pumped up my my views and subscribers. So, and people like Western Supermoto Vlogs, who's also been very supportive of me. You know, you know, I think all of us within the vlogging world need a bit of help. Some of us can do it on their own. Like, you know, there's the few, the, the talented few. People like um, Bold and Bankrupt. I mean, he, he got a start with Harold Boulder. You know, everyone needs a bit of a leg up to get going. So rare that people just sort of take off and get going on their own. Some do, of course. But obviously when you're old and farty like me, you are not getting people looking at you because you're good looking. I mean, my friends who we're staying with, you're like, what? Why do people watch YouTube? What are they watching? So I showed them my video, yeah, and they're like, yeah, see, why do people watch that? And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I'm glad that people do watch this. I don't know why people watch, I mean, I mainly watch video YouTube for, because Vegas, I love watching Vegas videos because Vegas is one of my favorite places I've ever visited. Used to go two or three times a year when I had money. Those days are long gone, of course. Which way are we going, doggies? Should we go this way? Let's go this way. Give up. See, the dog's very alert. Yeah, my Crazy. Crazy dogs. Um, yeah, why do people watch vlogs? I mean, what do you, why do you watch vlogs? I know people watch my vlogs in Malaysia because they're from other countries and wanted to see you know, what it's like. What is Malaysia like? And also a lot of Malaysians like to watch foreigners in their country because they want to see what the people are saying. You know, look, there's nothing more that people of a country like than is to have foreigners say, oh, this is the most beautiful country in the world. These are the friendliest people in the world. This is the best food in the world. Which I'll be totally honest, that's what all bloody vloggers do, whichever country they're in, seemingly. Not me. Right, we can go this way. Oh, you've just gone under the gate. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, come here. Come on, let's go, let's go. All right, I'll go for that shot. We're going, are you coming? You're gonna go under the gate, aren't you? Yes. We're gonna just keep going, follow the path. Now this, yeah, this is farmland, but we're just following a path. I won't be able to see it, but there is a path. It's a man-made footpath, if you like. And, um, well, I need exercise, and so do the dogs. Yeah, so I understand why people watch videos. If I'm going to, to a country, I'll have a look at some videos to see which kind of places to visit what good food there is, blah, blah, blah. You know, there are reasons. Also, you know, I had to um, insert the radio code on my wife's car on, you know, Freak, because when we bought it, obviously the battery was disconnected and the code wasn't working. We didn't have the code written down. So I had to go to the garage, find out what the code could be. And then I had to install it. I had no idea how to do it. So YouTube, how to change the light bulb on the car, YouTube. How to do a million things, YouTube. That's what I use YouTube for. But I also use YouTube for entertainment. Um, so at the moment, my wife is making vlogs. Well, I'm the cameraman and editor. She is a presenter, if you like, which are charity halls. So that means she goes to charity shops in the UK. Uh, for my friends in Malaysia, it's like a bundle shop, but slightly different. Um, the shops are owned by charities and a percentage of everything you buy the money goes to the charity. A lot of it goes to staff wages and rent and that sort of shit, but some of it goes to the charity. So it's a thing. People go car boot sales, charity shops, whatever. They buy things and then they make videos and buying them and showing off what they bought and trying them on that kind of thing. And so my wife's videos, her last video, she's got over 500 views. So it's nice. We're getting a I turn around now, she's more successful than me, if you like. Come on, doggos. Right, we're going to the road. I don't want to go to the road, so we'll carry on back up. 
So at the moment she's more successful than me, but you know, I don't mind. I make the videos with her. Um, she makes them really because I push her to make them anyway. So it's good. It's good to have her being successful now. Um, obviously when we go back to Malaysia, she's gonna have that reverse issue because there is no sort of real charity shop places in Malaysia so she can buy in and try things on. Plus finding clothes that fit her in Malaysia, not so easy. Um, but there's a lot of people want to see plus size women, you know, buying charity clothes and trying them on, it's great. So that's really cool for her, but also it's good for me. So even though nobody's watching my vlogs, I'm making vlogs that somebody is watching, other people are watching, or well, seemingly. I mean, we've already made a few, but the view has been going up each time. So it's good. Move away from her crafting vlogs. She doesn't get much time to do crafting on the road. Um, so what's gonna happen after Christmas? Well, we were gonna potentially go and stay at a friend's house in Spain. But that's looking more and more unlikely thanks to the whole Omricon, Omricon, what's it called? COVID. The latest variant, which I'm sure will be a different one by the time you see this anyway. Um, I'm kind of done with it now. You know, people are double vaccinated as we are. We'll be having our booster jab next week. And yet still, the majority of the people catching this new one um, are people who've been jabbed. So, frankly, oh, dogs don't drink the drink. Drink in the water. <laughs> right, uh, yeah. Um, a lot of the people getting it seem to have been double jabbed and bloody everything. So, frankly, what's the point? And I get, oh, we're less likely to die. Well, it seems to me nobody's dying of the Omicron in the UK. Well, they found one person, but well, that person was over 70 and had underlying health issues. So, you know, it's bullshit. I call bullshit, frankly. Um, I accept the fact there is a, a thing called COVID. I accept the fact this thing called COVID is a danger to people. But I don't accept the fact that the way we've carried on for the last two years is the right way to go because we're going to have a massive mental health issues from people who've kids who've been basically stuck at home for two years of their prime life. Adults who are struggling with mental health. People who have no jobs, no income, no way of doing this. I mean, it can't go on like this. People have got to be able to get on with their lives. And... That's how I feel. Sorry if you disagree. I know it's an emotive subject. I know my friend, these dogs are having a great time. Mr. Moonshine Lemongrass totally is against the whole thing. He thinks it's all bullshit. It comes the time when you've got to start living. He's over in Morocco at the moment where, you know, he's trapped, frankly. Um, it's shut down. As are quite a few other of my favorite vloggers are. King E over there. They're good van life vloggers. But I'd rather be locked down somewhere like Morocco than somewhere cold like England, you know? And that was why we were gonna go to Spain because we could see that something is coming. We can see that life isn't returned to normal. We're not going back to Malaysia anytime soon. That seems certain. It's like they're like these two, fighting and playing nonstop. You okay? You okay? Yeah, keep on him. Keep on. Hey, hey, hey! Doggers, come! Puppies! Puppies! Hey! Come on. Honestly, like two crazy teenagers, always fighting each other. Absolutely mental. Yes. What are you doing? You two fighting? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ugh. I'm definitely a cat person more than a dog person. But these are cute, aren't you? Yes. Ah, <sighs> there you go. So yeah, that, so what's the deal with this video? What's the point? 
I don't know, I'm trying to make a video. I'm hoping to get back to Malaysia eventually. Um, my plan so I go back to Malaysia, meet back up with Charlie and Leo, first of all. And we're gonna hopefully, uh, Charlie will get his hands on some motorbikes for, for Leo and him and we can all go for little rides again. Um, I also have a plan. I'm not sure, you know I did the ride around Peninsula Malaysia on the Kawasaki. I think I'd like to do it again, but longer. I had to rush because of COVID. Obviously, you might remember I was in Penang and um, I got the message that it was all closing down in Selangor. I had to get through Selangor and down to Malacca overnight. I haven't already booked the extra in Penang, so, um, you know, I rushed, had to rush through the whole thing. I think I'd like to do it again. I'm not too sure, what, either one way or the other. Either with Little Red, which is the Damak D7, which is still in Malaysia waiting for me. Although, God knows how that's going to be after almost a year sitting still. Or I might try it on public transport. Try the trains, the buses around Malaysia. I think that might be fun. Um, and we're desperately trying to get to Brunei because I have a new grandchild in Brunei. Now almost a, year, a month old and we haven't seen it yet. So, you know, we want to get back to Asia where our family are. But in the meantime, we're staying in this magnificent thatched cottage with our friends who are warm and welcoming and we're having a lovely time. Um, but the weather's not warm and welcoming. Although, to be, I'll be honest, we've been very lucky. We haven't had really many days of heavy rain or anything. But, you know, that's going to come. It's just a matter of when. Give up, puppies! What have you found? Give up! Give up! Give up, puppies! Give up, puppies!